Okay, so wasn't too hard, but I used the same puller and I got the crankshaft gear off. There's a taper on this guy facing inwards that uh, sits up on this edge here, I guess. So the taper goes in, the outside is nice and flat. And then I got the key off and the key has a taper as well that sits up. So when I was looking down at the end of it, it looked like it was sitting up or there's a gap there, but it's just the way that the key is designed. There's a taper there. Okay, so that's all good. I'll clean that up and have a better inspection of it. And I was looking at the manual here. I don't know if you can see this in the video, but uh, so the flywheel run out. So it says run out of clutch face between outer edge of friction surface and mounting bolt holes is decimal 005 inches or five foul. So we don't have a friction surface here because the torque converter bolts directly to the face of the flywheel, uh, but it must be the same tolerances. So I got this dial gauge, stuck it on. So each little tick is one thou. So as I rotate, there's about, not quite to zero, all the way to three to the left. So not quite to zero. So I think I'm just under or right around three thou. So that's good. Looks straight and uh, ready to pop that off next and then proceed uh, stripping this thing down. All right, so this front plate has four half inch bolts holding it on. Uh, I removed those and it's loose, but it's still kind of held down in here, it seems. I don't know if it's just stuck. I don't really want to pry on it too hard to bend it, uh, but I haven't got that free yet. So I'll look into that, see what I can do. Um, over here, this plate came off of here. Uh, four bolts were holding it on, nine sixteenths, came right off and that's kind of right into the oil cavity. And I believe that this hole here was drilled because on the outside here, this copper line I'm holding onto was running up to the turbo. So it's not stock and I'm assuming I'm just gonna be capping that guy off um because we'll be deleting the turbo and then over here so this is what holds the flywheel on there's six of these 13 16 big suckers so you got to kind of block the gear on that um to stop it from spinning and then you can get this off so here's the flywheel and i noticed there's some markings on here that i don't fully understand some, there you go, some timing markings or whatnot. So I just put a little white mark on there, uh, corresponding to this one for putting this back on the right way, but I'm sure there'll be something in the manual about how this is gonna line up when we reattach it. Um, so next I've got to check the, uh, I'm not sure if they call it backlash or whatnot with my gauge on the play on this piece here that's attached to the crank. Before we uh, get that off and then I'll remove this plate looks like one two three half inches and we'll see if we have better luck with this side plate off um, it was just stuck on with a bit of gasket and then these dowel pins here and here to line it up pretty small tolerance so it just needed to come off nice and even um, just use this little flat bar guy here and just kind of tapped it in place and everything popped out nicely uh, on the other side here, I've got the cover that was behind the flywheel. Um, it came off nice just with the three that I was talking about in the last bit there. There's tons of corrosion in here though. I'm going to try to get some light on this. So that'll be the back side of the uh, camshaft gear. And then I need to check the end play on this guy. So I'll set up my dial indicator uh, and there's a spec in the manual I'll look up and then I need to, so push it back, zero the dial indicator and then pry it forward. Um, a lot of corrosion in here, just chunks of uh, rust and crap. I don't think it's had any way of getting in here. So I guess it's just corrosion and moisture from inside. 
37, I guess. Yeah, anyway, I'm doing this kind of ghetto without an engine lift at this point. So I'm gonna have to put up some wood on the side here and kind of roll it over so I can access the underside there and uh, remove the crank. And then the uh, cam, I guess, after that. Just following along in the manual, it's not quite in order. So I'm bouncing around and then skipping section to section and it's all in a PDF on the computer. So it's a little bit difficult, but we're working through it. Cleaned up the shop and we've gone ahead and put out some timbers here and I just tipped the engine carefully over the block onto some dunnage here. So I don't have an engine stand. Cleaned it up a bit, the rust. So we've got the dial meter set up here on the, uh, where the flywheel would bolt to the crankshaft. Um, and we're set at zero, almost perfect. So then just looking over here, so that's all the way that way, sorry. But that just snuck nicely into zero. And then I got a bit of play here, whoop. So it's about nine thou. And that's not good. The tolerances are between 0 0.004 and 0 0.008, so I'm a hair over that. Anyway, so I'll have to look into how that's going to affect my next move. i got to buy another cam crankshaft, sorry, or if there's a way to fix that, the new bearings in the kit. And we've got some 15 16 bolts, two, four, six, eight. So I'm going to crack those guys and uh, release this, release the crank. Okay, I got the crankshaft out. Uh, I'm just inspecting the journals here. Um, that will be the uh, frontmost journal. The second one here. This one's got a couple little lines. You can kind of see them there. And you can, can't really feel them with your fingernail. Anyway, uh, third one. And then it's all smooth. And these all look really good. And the fourth one, of course, they're closest to the flywheel end. Um, the bearings up here, so this will be the rearmost, or, uh, sorry, this is wrong, I got front written on here, but it's flywheel on this end, because that came off of here. This guy was really hard to get off, this first one here. He's got these rubber pieces that were in there, kind of gasket material, and uh, really low tolerances, so that was a very tight fit, so I got him out. And the bearing looks really nice. You can see it's worn out. They're all kind of worn out on the sides there. A little bit more of that copper color is missing. There's the corresponding uh, bearing half that will be up in the block. This one, again, looks pretty good from what I know, which is very little. There's a little bit of pitting on this one. Um, and here's the one here that you can see those lines. And uh, yeah, I can feel those with my fingernail. So there must have been some bit of debris or something in there to put those lines in. Luckily, I can't feel it on the journal of the actual crankshaft. And then there's lots of pitting on this guy as well. And then the uh, <clears throat> the frontmost one. And again, there's a bit of a, a bit of a line there. Not as bad as the other one, but definitely some wear. So there's the bearings. Love to hear what you guys thought of those. And then uh, as for the camshaft, so it wanted me to check the camshaft end play uh, between one and seven thou. I've got the plate off here, so it can definitely slide out this way a lot more. Um, but even if I put that plate on, you can see here where it makes contact with the gear for the approval uh, meter. If I just push on the end there, let's see if I can do it there. That just pushes like, like way in like that's like an inch an inch of play so i'm not sure exactly how i'm supposed to check that um anyway but this proof meter gear here and this guy spins and then this is where the oil pump went and if you follow this up you can see where the oil pump kind of they tie in together obviously they're driven off the same gear so these Allen keys, I can't get them out. They're very, very tight. So I'm gonna have to figure out, uh, there's probably a sequence. I would assume you take out the small one first, then the big one will come out, enabling this to come out. 
Um, but this, I've taken the nut, the sorry, not the nut, the bolt, the bolt right here off the top, and there's a little flexible shaft in there. You can see which uh, female receiver there for the cable that connects it up to the hour meter, um, which of course mine is broken, so I'll be replacing that once I figure out how to get this thing off and then get the camshaft out and that'll be it. The block will be stripped. So I'll get in the manual and figure that out and be right back. Right, so that is the shaft that drives the oil pump. You can see I've got the cam gear just off to the side a bit so it's not engaged. And I just tapped on that with the handle of the wooden mallet. And this guy popped out. So that went in like that. And this, uh, the proof meter shaft came out there pointing towards the uh, flywheel end of the engine. And then, as you can see, looks like the bearing has come apart in here. Or sorry, not the bearing, gasket. This is kind of a, I almost wonder if this metal is broken. Right here, that looks broken to me. I don't think that's supposed to be like that. Um, but I didn't find any chunks of metal anywhere. Maybe it's just the way that it is. Anyway, if I push on this guy, I can remove the oil pump drive gear that engages in the camshaft. So I'll clean that guy up. For now, I'll just put him where he goes with the oil pump right there. And the little shaft just pulled right out. Um, where did that go? Oh yeah, that's over here. So this little shaft on this guy comes out. In a mess again working one-handed so this guy is uh, square so he sits in here and then he's flexible and he rotates out and then he's got a square end on him that goes to the cable that will head on up so I'll just leave that guy like that actually I won't put that on there anyway so now that that's out I don't see any reason why this cam, because there's no gear on the back here. I guess some of these have a gear that will drive a uh, power steering. Um, we have like an external hydraulic pump that runs the power steering on the backhoe. So I'm gonna put the phone down so I can use two hands and I think I can just slide that all the way out. Uh, Oh yeah, so the case does look like it's not broken. It's just the way it's cast. That lip is off in there, but I'll inspect it better once I get the camshaft out. Um, yeah, the journals on this look pretty good. Again, I don't know what I'm looking at here. There is the cams. So those are going to push the uh, tappets, I believe they're called, in the manual there. There's the gear that drives the oil pump and the proof meter Another exhaust intake, an exhaust intake. So flip this upside down. Looks like C7NN6250E. And then I remember it was saying something about red and green bearings and out around and anyway. more to look up, lots to learn. Um, back over here. I believe these are the taffets. So these are what's going to ride on those cam lobes. Um, push up and in there would be the end of the push rod. Push rod? I guess? Anyway. Sorry I don't know all the terminology. Push rod will go up to the rocker arm. Rocker arm then pushes down on the valve. So there you go. I'm going to label these, take them out so they go right back into the exact same holes. And that's about as far as I can go. As far as these 
bearings in here. I'm not sure exactly how to press those out. So I might just leave that and uh, get this thing cleaned up the best I can. Take her into the machinist. I uh, never ended up having to get these guys out. I'm not sure 100% how that all jives. Uh, they might just be like bung plugs for where you could access the oil. Because it obviously, the oil pump would pump oil up this hole. Sorry. So it gets driven off the gear, pumps the oil up here. Looks like it runs up here up through here and maybe into the filter and then through to the rest of the engine so there you go any info things i should be doing advice on a rebuild kit i see them uh, right on yesterday's tractor there uh, again with the radiator i need to get that going too if you guys know of a good manufacturer that makes radiators Thanks a lot for watching. Cheers. Okay, one more quick thing. I got those, uh, what I believe to be tappets out and the one in the center left. So I'm just gonna flip around. It's gonna be center right over on the bench here. This one's beat to hell. Um, the edges are all broken on this thing. All the other ones are fine. They look smooth. Nice edges. No problems with that one's just absolutely hammered on. You can see it there. So let's see the, uh, that'll be this cam here. Oh yeah, so actually this one here beside it has a little bit of pitting on it. Hard to get in focus and then that's the one that would have been riding on it but again can't really feel too much it doesn't look too bad i'm not sure how decent it's got to be oh here's some more writing on this thing what does that say f o i can't read that